What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and it's time for the weekly third-person MOBA updates. Sorry this one is a bit late, I got kind of sauce last night. This week I have updates for Fault, Ethereal Predecessor, and Project Stamina. Fault's big news, of course, is that the Alpha went live, so those lucky enough to win a key or wealthy enough to buy one were able to play Fault over the weekend. They discovered a few bugs and dealt with a few trolls, but in the end, it looks like it was successful and they were able to iron things out. They're at 21% of their fundraising goal for the game. Lots of controversy there, but my personal opinion is that they need capital if they want to move forward, so I'm happy for them. They also told me that Steel and Sparrow will be coming out before the end of the month. I'm extremely happy to hear about that. My one small gripe with Fault is that all the heroes they picked are ones I barely touched in Paragon. Just a personal issue, of course. Um, that, that will be remedied when my boy Steel gets added. I'm a little curious as to which version of Steel we'll be getting, but I'll be happy with any of them. They also want to have Boris released by the end of the month, however they did say that that may not be possible as they have nothing to base his sounds off of. I have a suggestion. Bears. Ryan Red also expressed excitement over future tournaments and events. He has a lot of experience setting things like that up, and now that he's part of the dev team, he'll be able to implement some crazy rules like no CDR matches or infinite mana games. I certainly look forward to that. Ethereal showed off a few of their skins that they have in development. I personally really like the Beach Fun Calia. They made it cute without being creepy, and I appreciate that. They also released some of the audio from their upcoming cinematic trailer. It was just audio, but we can at least gather that it will have malware versus Noxus. The Omega Boys are hard at work on Predecessor. King of Programs has been working on matchmaking and account rating. Fringe has updated the map with 200 new files. Smokey has been updating the HUD, and our friend Ruba has been knocking out animations. Oak Owl continues to work on music and ambient in-game sounds. Teriander is developing some new models for wards, and Ace has been implementing Camera Shake. Project Stamina will begin a round of internal tests this week. Hopefully, I can get in on that and report back to you guys on what I think of the game so far. Fingers crossed. That's all I have for this week, folks. Sorry if I didn't have much for your favorite, but I don't make the news, I just report it. Let's all keep our hopes high. Thanks for checking out the video. This is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!